episode 4,884. It's February. Hey, did you think we were going to make it through January? We made it all the way through January. Wow. Thursday, Friday, Junior. Some people say Thursday. Let me tell you this thing. Oh, what the heck? You hear that sound? What is that sound? Some kind of jingle jang? What is this jingle jong jing jing jingle jang? What that jingle congers? It's a jang jangle. Jang. Oh! oh, hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again. Once a day, every day. The machines are loud. Forever, here we go. I'm flying. On Thursday, Ugh. I didn't know. I didn't know. Will you ever forgive me? Can you take place complacency in my actions? Yesterday I was here on Wednesday. Um, Eli was here. Uh, I was thinking about getting kidnapped. And the Power of Panic Room movie from Jodie Foster and Twilight Zone Princess. Um, and other things. I was out there. It was around a similar time, 5, 5.30. That's what time I get here these days. It was pretty good time. Um, I was eating Panda Express. Sleeping. Was I sleeping? Uh, about this stuff. We're looking at some tape stuff, probably listening to some messages, living, making it. You know, one day at a time. Uh huh. Um, sitting at a park at night in the outside. It's like warm winter time. It's like uh, at one point it was very frozen. Now it's winter, but it's not too cold and. We're getting into, you know, February, which could get snowy, but, you know, it's unlikely. And then into March and April, which is the spring. You know how time works? March and April are a good time, like, weather-wise. And it used to be my favorite time of the year, but it's actually kind of a dready time these, these the last few years. I mean, I think it was fine last year. I don't remember last year, this time of year, too much which is good, but in the past, it has been kind of a time of dread, <laughs> uh, of, of dread, uh, but, um, you know, getting into it, you know, making me a little bit nervous, but what can I be, I can't be nervous about a time of year that would be too hard to deal with, um, but, uh, kind of like the whole waking up they call it spring fever after you get out of out of the winter and when you're moving into the spring all the animals are um in love if you know what i mean um they, they love each other a lot and uh there's love in there and, and spring fever and it's like oh man i get the fever or they have the fever and it's scary i gotta quarantine you gotta um stop this what do they, like, the, the lion, or like, remember when in the virus times they had the lion? And they're like, watch this lion, you gotta watch this lion. Um, and then you do, you watch the lion and then you do the thing and, and then it works out. Uh, I was watching this, uh, Y2K show on, like, one of these TV shows, and the guy, started saying like the guy like one of the main guys that was telling everybody that the world was going to end in like I don't know let's, let's say 1998 
he was like, the world is going to end. And it's really bad. we got to do something about it or the world's going to end. And, and then I, uh, nothing happened. You know, I was... I was there for, I don't know how old these kids are anymore, but I'm, uh, I remember when that happened, and I was going to be like, people in like the, the World War II, and they're like, oh, I remember, because, uh, you were born in like 1886, you know, you switch it over, so if you're born in like in a, one of these kind of barrier times, most of the time, I didn't consider it that it was going to be in this century. I have to try, I didn't really think about it. Like, uh, I was born last century. Kids, you know, old, you know, old and dying. And Gramp, Gramps over here, Pops, old Pops. He's old, <laughs> he's old now. Um, I was around last century, let me tell you about that thing. But, uh, He was telling everybody that it's a problem. He's like, look out, there's a problem. I see a, foresee a problem. We better get scared. And then um, he kind of went on talk shows and scared everybody. And then it didn't happen. And he's like, people are like, hey. Why were you bullying or yelling about how the world was going to end and everything was fine? You were wrong. And he was like, why? Well, we fixed it. He was yelling a lot, and when he was yelling, he said, like, fix the thing. So, oh, the curb. The curve. So it's like when you fix the thing, you don't know what's going to happen. Preventative nature of matters. Um, you don't never know. You never get to experience solving a problem if you're preventative about it. Like, I had a problem, but... I've never had a problem in my life. Lucky. Lucky, no problems. Never had a problem. Like, I put a lot of effort into not having future problems. I'm just solving my problems before they happen. Spoiled motherfucker! Oh, that's what, that's what they're telling me. Oh, I'm like, oh no. Everybody thinks that that's what they're thinking. That's what everybody's thinking. And it's like, hey, I'm just thinking ahead of things, okay? It's not very nice to say. Sounds like kind of personal, uh, kind of things, personal problems would be saying. Yeah, I got problems. Um, got any problems? You will solve them. Hey, you got a problem? You will solve them. I'm gonna get that David guy to. Say the B-52 song next time he calls. Hey, can you say Rock Lobster? It's a Rock Lobster! That's what the, um, the guy on, uh, I am singing a B-52 song! That's what David from Iowa, that sounds like to me now. Hey, yo, kids. Get a car! We're gonna live in the world! What do they say in the B-52 song? Tin roof... Uh, I guess they're singing. Some of them are singing. But one guy is just... Saying stuff in the big world, David Iowa voice. Uh-huh. Yesterday I was here. It was Wednesday. Went sitting in a park in a gazebo, um, sleeping, knitting. I'm knitting a lot. I am almost done with the sweater. I'm gonna complete it before crafting club. So, I have a club where I'm crafting things. And, um, Last time I was there, I was knitting the giant blanket. But this time, I'm going to be done with the blanket. Or, I mean, I'm not done with the blanket. The blanket's still sitting there. i got to finish it off soon. I'm going to tie it off and then use it. But right now, 
I'm in the middle of making a sweater. I'm about a third of the way through the last sleeve. So I only got two thirds of a sleeve to go. And then I'll be done. But I just hope I have enough yarn left because one yarn or one arm is completely com completed. Completely completed. The other yarn arm is not. And I don't have much yarn left, but I know what kind of yarn I got. But I don't want to start a whole new one. And then I'll have a lot left, but maybe maybe that's fine. But uh I'm gonna complete it and then once I have done that, then I'm going to immediately start on the next one. Maybe I can yeah, do it better next time, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean just pumping them out because what else am I gonna do? Um That's the plan. Yeah, I made, a, made a home last night. Um, I went back to McDonald's actually. I had McDonald's for breakfast and late night snack because I got the jinger and they told me there was free fries there. I went, All right. And I went back there. And it wasn't the best, but then I went back to my residence, mm, watching TV, a little bit of sleeping. Probably should be sleeping more. I'm a little bit tired today. Went to bed moderately late last night. And I really ought to be just sleeping. But, uh... Back to home. Went back to working from home again today. Oh, what a time. I ate the um, fried rice kind of food. I right, frozen rice. Thawed it out. Hamburger. Vegetables. Rice. I'm have to go to the store soon. Um, for more meat, I'm gonna go get some more beef. Um, been, yeah, garlic powder from bulk, from bulk garlic powder. I'm gonna go get some more. Mm. Whoa! Oh, Kiara. Hello. Hello. Where? I'm calling from San Francisco. Whoa! Oh, <coughs> big city. Say hi to the city. Well, uh, hi city. We have some updates. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, some good news, some bad news. Oh. Uh -huh. The good news is I'm here, I'm attending school, I'm doing my, I'm actually doing my classes and doing them well. The bad news is that I have caught, I have technically been disqualified from school. So I haven't kicked out. I am academically disqualified. And I'm being serious about this. Really? Other bad news, yeah. Other bad news, it turns out my parents have been pocketing some of my financial aid money. <clears throat> so far, I know $11,000. So that's not very helpful. But the good news is that I'm in school and I'm doing shit with open enrollment to get back in. But it's all been kind of a roller coaster. And somehow my mind's been fine. Your parents have been lying to you about money? Yeah, a little bit. At least, basically... You know that the, my, my mom's a professor, my dad works for the state, they have enough money, but apparently they're using the, uh, the, the yeah, they use the thing that's supposed to go to my college payments for basically everything is what my dad told me, and, yep, so that's fine, but it's okay. But now you, you have a place to live, I mean, aren't you in the dorms? I'm, I'm still, I'm going to be able to live here all year and everything. You're going to live in the yeah. dorms without going to school? No, I am going, but oh. I'm like, it's like open enrollment and it's like, it's like a thing for students in my situation, basically. But like, I'm taking classes, it's going well. 
You already got, but you got kicked out from the last time you were in school, and it just carried over. Well, no, no, no. I got kicked. Okay, like I'm academically disqualified, so I'm not a fully fledged student here anymore. They kicked me out, but I'm still able. I'm, I'm, I'm not fully kicked out. I can still take classes to get my GPA up to be able to full time attend the school. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's good though, and we're gonna be, we have a place to do melting pot now, um, Zoe and I have this weed, oh, and Zoe is here, uh, lives here now, so, um, we have a weed professor, actually, we have a weed business class, and he's, he's a crazy person, and, uh, he's, like, on Adderall, he's crazy, uh, he gave me a shit ton of weed to, like, <laughs> edit his stuff, yeah, yeah, in, like, exchange for editing his stuff, um, so he's gonna let us film melting pot at his place, and we're gonna do an interview with San Francisco State Spider Man, with him and some other people tomorrow. If you want to call, oh, or Saturday, if you want to call in. What? Our show. What is? What is this? Um, melting pot. It's a reality talk show. Oh no! It's a reality so, talk show. Is that what? Is that what I'm doing? Oh my God! Fuck. Huh? What, what's a reality talk show? Is that what I'm doing? Uh, I'm just stealing your show, basically. Well, no, I, mean, I, is, I don't have a show, and I'm doing only plans. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of, yeah, basically just talking to you, but more of like, you know, we'll have different, like, situations for them to be in, so it'll be more like the pressure of a reality show. So, for example, SF, so we, everybody, it's like, you come here to, like, give your voice and everything, and then... And they come into the room, and basically it's going to be, uh, it's this dorm owned by this professor, by this professor. All these students are, are in this dorm. They have all of this. It just smells like like weed and tobacco. There's a bunch of records, very college-y, but it's like a college professor owns it. He's going to be, we're going to have people, the, the interviewers, they're not going to tell the students, and we're just going to have people keep, like, talking to them. You know, just make the situation more and more different. Just different, bouncing around, you know. And is, is it named after the racial diversity of the USA? Melting pot? Yeah. yeah. It's named after because everybody has a beautiful perspective. That, that's what they say about the racial diversity of the USA, right? Uh oh. What happened? It's just me. I got oh. disconnected. Oh, okay. What do you say? That's what they say about the USA's racial diversity. Yes, and the school is like that. So, it's a loving part. Mm -hmm. Everyone's here. Um, when did you move? I moved, um, s last Friday. Last Saturday. I, moved and I got here last Saturday. So you've been there for a week? Yeah, I've been here for almost a week. Did you go? So a lot has happened in a week. Oh wow! Did you cross the oh, Golden wow. Gate Bridge? I I I pass. I still pass the Golden Gate. I go every day. Yeah. Uh, and um. Up at five a.m. Do a long commute. Alcatraz. Oh my God! I, we actually met this um, person who volunteers at Alcatraz. So we and I were smoking outside of like these like like this like building um and there's this person playing guitar like loudly like doing like bit a bit a bit like little little thingies and it kept degrading and it sounded pretty like really bad and really loud and she came down and she started talking to us about it and she told us she volunteers at Alcatraz but she like called the campus she's like I'm gonna call the campus police and, and complain about this and then we were scared because we were smoking right there so it was like why are you gonna call the campus police about weed? Like, well, no, about the guitar player, but we're right there. So, so it's like, why, like, we're okay. right there. Noise complaint? Yeah, she tried to noise complain them, and then they thought that Zoe and I were the ones who snitched, and they called us pussies and they yelled at us, but we would not do that. I would not complain about noise. Yeah. What are you eating? Pizza. Oh, did you have, have you gotten a chicken burrito recently? I, I still haven't gotten a chicken burrito since that, that incident. <laughs> from That's class. a long time, honestly. If that's your only to do, then that. 
It was a week ago. I can't. I haven't even. I haven't even gone back to the taco truck since then, actually. Wow, abstinence. That's good for you. I mean, I should probably go back. I do. I still want that. I just like. Maybe I was shocked. I didn't even really consciously not go. Now that you're bringing it up, I kind of forgot about that. Maybe your your brain knocked it out of your head because of the fear of it not happening again. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to go back. And I like that place. I still like them, and I don't have holding anything against them. I was just shocked at that point. I wouldn't want to go back either. I went to Subway today. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm pri- you know you're privileged when that's like the worst thing that has happened to me in like a long time. Well, that means you made it, baby. Yeah. You went to Subway and then they like so much food and culture and eating <laughs> at Subway. Hey, food and culture! Oh my god, what the fuck are you talking about? First of all, I don't... First of all, food... I don't understand how it works. There is a thing which I don't like... like Somebody will take me to a fancy restaurant and it will taste like really good, but it's always like, and it always could be better. And I feel like shitty food tastes usually just as like, it tastes as good. So I don't care about the food and the, yeah. what, what, what am I supposed to get? Like what, fucking $30 on a, on Poke Bowl? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, li- I like garbage fast food as well, but I, did, I don't like Subway for some reason. Yeah, I mean like, I think I like it because I like the smell of the buildings, the restaurants. I like the smell of the sandwiches and the mayonnaise and stuff. The mayonnaise? Um, the smell of the mayonnaise? Mmm! <laughs> isn't that what it smells like in some way? I don't know. Whatever it is, I like the smell of stuff. Mmm. Um, they make their own bread there, I think, is what the smell is, mostly. That, is, that could not possibly be the smell of bread. It smells so much more wet than bread. Bread's not dry. Bread, I wish bread was wetter because I feel like I see people make these huge loaves and it never comes out as fucking as it does in my hand. Well, it's it's supposed to be a vehicle. That's why it's not wet itself. You put you put mayonnaise on the bread and then it, you know, what's it up? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I, I you know, there's like a local sandwich shop that is like about the same price as Subway, and I always go there. Uh oh, somebody's about to pass by. Oh my god, are you in the dorms? Yeah. Like in the hallway of the dorm? Sorry. What? You're like in the hallway of a college dorm right now. I'm in the staircase outside. Oh man, is asking. that what college is? But, but you're, you're... That's what you're asking. You're just like, like, um... Well, I'm supposed to go in my room? I don't know, If you, but if you're living in the, um, in the, in the dorms but not going to school, you're like, um... I am ta- I am going to school. I'm going to classes. Nobody oh, you are? Okay. knows until I tell them. I, they see me going to classes. There's like a lot of movies about party people who are like going to college parties, but then they don't go to college. Oh yeah, that's me, honestly. Yeah. That's a college I'm going to a lot of parties. Should we make a movie like that? I was thinking I should make a... One of those type of college movies would just make it real because that's just not enough. Van Van Wilder. Van Wilder with Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Van 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 Wilder. Maya Rudolph. Um, where where is Zoe? She, Zoe's at your school. Huh? Zoe goes to your school. Yeah, yeah. Zoe's at another dorm. Um, building, um, we, when was last time I saw it? I saw it like an hour ago, um, we met up with our weed professor yesterday, so I'm just, um, what, what is a weed professor, is he, uh, I'm like being serious, I honestly don't know, it's like, they have this college here called the Experimental College, and it's like, um, it's like, like, you know, like, like, hands-on, like, you learn what it is, it's like six oh, What's it's going like, on? Somebody's yelling. Somebody's screaming. Um, you know, this thing is, these kids get drunk, and they don't know what they're doing. What, what makes him a professor, though? Is he just, like, saying he's a professor? No, no, no. We took, we are taking his class, we are in his class, and basically we got there, and he just was, just is talking, 
so rapid fire. He's very clearly on Adderall. Um, he kept telling us, like, like he gave us all seeds. Like, he gave everybody a weed seed, and he told us about, like, how we're going to be planning stuff on campus, making, like, all this stuff. And he was like, he, he was like, yeah, man, they try to fucking take our shit. They try to, they, they, they try to take our, uh, they try to take our shit. They try to take our products. He said that he like designed his own products, and we used one of the products he designed. Um, Zoe and I, when he brought us over to his house, <laughs> and it's like this, like it's like a bubbler, but it connects. It's sorry, not a bubbler. It's a dab rig thing, a dab thing, but it connects to a bong. So, so we just he has to use our new SpongeBob bong. And we were just like, cool, because like, you know, yeah, um, but uh, when we were talking with him, he was like, okay, and then he like, he takes out the stab, he's like lighting the dab, and then he connects the bong to the dab, and then he's like, here, and then, it's like, I am literally 19 years old, he's, he's a, prof- he's my professor, and he's, he has me take a dab, he's like, he, he's, like he's like, dude, he's like, part of your class, part of your, you know, because like, he's saying that like, it would help, and like, um, I like it, it hurt really bad because I was the first one who hit it too, and you don't feel the pull. And I'm not used to that. I don't used to do that. So it's coming like from a dab into the bomb. So like, I felt like I was coughing for like 30 minutes, and I threw up. I can't imagine he. I don't even think that he felt embarrassed at all because, I mean, he he like fist bumped me. He was like, "Good job." He kept like trying to have me do more, but it wasn't like creepy. Like there's all of these like college students in the door, I'm like, he's just like, I don't know, like, he is. He invented a bong? He invented, well, yeah, he designs products, I think that's why he teaches the class. Um, he designs like, bongs? No, um, he, he, he makes stab rigs and stuff, he, it has something to like, like, I don't know, I think, I don't know, he, he, what he designed was like a dab. He's like, um, whoa, I think he's a part of the he's like, is that like your, that's like one of your assignments in weed class? He's like, okay, I, guy, I, okay, go home, make a ball, bring your ball yeah, back. The first, Whoever has the coolest ball. ball. Me, but yeah, it's that type of thing, actually. Like, he's, he, he, he's lying a lot, um, I think, because of the Adderall. He told us that he's going to have Cheech and Ch- No, he said he's going to have Chong. Just Chong come to the class. He said he's going to have Cypher Hill, Cypress Hill come to the class. And... For a second, when he first said I kind of believed him, because, like, the, it said, like, there's going to be guest speakers and all this stuff, but when he, like, started telling us that, like, he, like, well, when he told Zoe and I after that he drank with his hacking class and gave us two joints, like, literally after class, I was kind of like, okay, I think he might be lying about having Cypress Hill come to the class. I mean, what else is Cypress Hill doing? <laughs> That's actually a good question, so maybe he's not lying. But I feel like... Probably not the easiest to get to the class. His name uh-huh. is. That guy's name is B Real. From uh-huh. South Brazil. I mean, I think B Real want to go. He's like, hey, B Real, you want to go to weed college? Yeah, it's it's that type of thing. Um, but it really is like that. We we expected to get a professor who'd like, you know, be super boring, and like, so it wouldn't be a liability. But he kept saying, like, he kept telling, asking us if we were cops, too. Um, okay, yeah, okay, anybody here a cop before we start this class? You have to tell me. You can't, you have to tell me if you're a cop, you know? That's basically did. He said, raise your hand if you're not a cop. And he was waiting, and nobody raised their hand, and he was like, good, you passed the test. Because I guess a cop would raise their hand and say that they aren't a cop. I mean, isn't it weed legal? Um... Yeah, but uh, campus is federal, so you can do things like he's having us do, like plant weed on campus, and you know things like that. It's not legal. You can't get in trouble for weed in San Francisco. The a campus is federal. So like, hey, like what federal. Are they, gonna, they, they can't do anything. That would be the biggest yeah. news. I mean, maybe he wants to sound like cool, but. Um, he does, like, he is he like, old oh, weed is not a crime anymore. He's like, oh, we got to learn how to run away from weed, man. It's like, the, it's they like have the store. You go to the store. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a crime anymore, but I think some of the stuff he does with it 
isn't legal, like um, doing stuff with butane and whatever he does, that he's teaching us how to do. I think he he has his own combination of gas that's supposed to be better or something. The gas is illegal? <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, well, I don't know, like, you're not supposed to, like, make he, I think he also, I mean, he told us that he sells ecstasy and ketamine and other stuff. Oh, well, that's illegal. Yeah, that's illegal. Um, that's illegal, I don't he, think he should he be teaching a class of- he, he, he gave me weed to sell, I think that's illegal. That's illegal too, but he's, it's like a it's like a class that you're paying college tuition to go to. Yeah, it's a real class at the experimental college. It's only one unit, but um, it's it's a real class. Well, how many units is a regular class? Three. It's only one unit, huh? They have classes that are in units these days. It's fucking worth it. Classes have always been in units. Did you go to college? I mean, no, I bet units. Yeah, classes have always been in units. Units. I'm yeah, doing that's three how, units that's how college works. Huh? Um, I don't think you should be doing that at the college. Like, drug, drug selling, selling drugs at school? Um, no, I don't think I should be doing it. Actually, when I was there, I was kind of like, oh, this person, like, probably shouldn't be around. I mean, I don't know how old he is, the thing. Um, yeah, what if he's just, like, um, some weird guy who, like, broken into the college, it kind of sounds like that. It does, I was expecting the class, I was expecting the SWAT team to break into the class, honestly. Um, but he's not a weird guy, I mean, he's a weird guy, but he didn't break in, so he is a real professor. Does he have a sweater? Huh? Does he have a sweater, like a professor, you know? Oh my god, he's very dead poet society, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean... The speech was very rousing. Everyone clapped at that. class, actually. Yeah. Oh, what's because going on? He, he, he is very inspiring. Somebody's, somebody else is joining this thing. Who is that? It's Florida, Florida Man. What up? What up, Florida Man? Can you hear this? You're Florida Man, right? Hi. Uh, hey. You from Florida? Hell yeah. You're Florida guy there? No. Yep. Yeah, yeah. How are ya? I'm doing great. I'm doing great this afternoon. I lived in Naples when I was two. Have you been to San Francisco, Florida guy? I've not been to San Francisco, but I've seen pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. I love the Golden Gate Bridge. It's have a big bridge. Have you ever been um, to, uh... actually a very small person. Really? You ever been to... Yeah. I, actually, I've been there. I've been to San Francisco, but not Florida. You ever been to Florida? I was, yeah, and I was born, well, I lived in Ross, too. You lived in Florida? In Naples, yeah. Naples? Yeah, um, I was there during Katrina. Like, like, Naples, idiot, Italy? No, like, no, that's Napoli. Was it? Was it Katrina in the north, I mean, in, uh, uh, New Orleans? But it's South, it's South Florida, South Florida. What? I thought Katrina was in New Orleans. Well, hurricanes like everywhere. You know how hurricanes work? They they go around. Kenny does this. I don't know if you've the show, but Kenny tries to fuck with people. Dude, that, I've been on the show like two other times. Yeah. So you know. That's good. Where, did you, did you experience a hurricane? In, have you experienced hurricanes in Florida? Oh hell yeah, so many times. <laughs> what happened? Well, um, one time, it was like, I was kind of younger, uh, the power just went out. I have a memory where it was like, oh, hey, the fridge turned off. We have all this meat we need to cook. Do you kids want hamburgers without buns? And so we ate hamburgers without buns. And then, uh, yeah. What, is, what does that mean? Just like fried meat only? That's yeah, steak. just fried meat with cheese on it. Oh, uh, yeah, cheese Is that Salisbury steak, technically? Yeah, well, that's a steak, I think. It's just beef, but... How come you didn't have any buns? There's a... I remember there was a later hurricane where it's like, nothing happened. But, like, I go into my room, right? And I look, and it's, like, where, like, the wall meets the floor, it was, like, seeping liquid. Like, my room was, like, slightly flooded in the corners. Oh, shit, that means you're in the eye of the storm. It was inside yeah. your house. I actually went outside during the eye. It was great. Can storms go inside houses? I mean, if they rip the roof off, yeah. 
Does that happen? <laughs> it happens. It happened in King of the Hill. Areas. Toast areas are crazy, man. I think there's like, I forgot what it's called. It might be like, uh, who is it going? You know, if there's yeah, like a bunch remember. of hurricanes, I think you should leave. I don't know. Usually they're not that, that bad. You just but stay. It's still like, kind of bad. Like on the, it's, I think it's because they live right in the center. Like right in the middle, like away from all the coasts. And get away with it. It's like you live in Florida, but there's no ocean. Yeah, like it's like it's like a good it's like a good like hour or something drive to get to the ocean. The people in Florida sound like they're from the south. I guess you don't really. I, don't, I mean, I, I see it because mostly because my yeah I see it. They do. I think uh, usually, kids. I don't know. Usually it's like because it's like it's like people from the south and then also like Mexicans too because. Like, not, not Mexicans, just like general Latino people. The Cubans! Oh yeah, definitely. You we have Cuban? the Cuban sandwiches, like uh, everywhere. Kids, ki Cuban? kids don't have, uh, accents anymore, because of, uh, TikTok. TikTok, they, they all yeah, talk TikTok like the, they all talk like the text-to-speech voice. Uh, I'm not who sure who that is, what that is. Honestly, it's kind of in creating for me, because everybody just, everybody just tries to, um, Everybody just boxes, basically, and talks crazy. Young people. I, I, yeah, so I, I know, genuinely, like, I'll see it. Like, people I went to elementary school with, I'll see them, I'll see them, like, now. And it's like, yeah. they're talking, like, crazy. Like, they're just like, yeah. it's like, what are you doing? Your name is, like, your name is Chris. Yeah. Like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> like, south, really like they're south. from the south, though? Huh? Huh? What are they talking like? Like, they're from the south? Just trying to say things. I mean, when I was a kid, it was more rare because I talked to my mom about it. Like, oh my God, this person, like, you know, because like sometimes whatever, but like it got more and more as I got older. Now everybody just uses this lingo, and I can't help but feel sometimes like it's like, like really, really, really clearly like, like what are you doing? Like, how, how are you not embarrassed? But it's okay. Yeah. It's a melting pot. The country is going to everyone. Is so you're, you're doing your show tomorrow and you're inviting me to call into your show? <laughs> yeah, we're doing melting pot Saturday. What? Um, uh, we're going to have Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday. And my weed class professor. Tomorrow's huh? Friday. Yeah, Saturday. When? Um... I have to talk with other say Spider Man. I'll tell you tomorrow. Probably like well, when are you doing the show? Because probably at like six. Six p.m. Oh, yeah, I might be able to do that. Um, yeah, that might be too late. I know you might want to do afternoon. I hope they say six. Well, it's six. It's like six o'clock right now. Um, yeah. We got a. Uh, we got some messages. I'm gonna listen to this message. Yellow fell left a message, and also somebody else did. And then we'll call him. This is a message from Yelp. We should probably call my brother, too. Yeah. Here's his message. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Kenny. Yes. What's going on? I'm getting ready for work. Yeah? A donut? And it is February 1st, I believe. Um, there's Halloween decorations up in this house. Uh, year round. Yeah. I've been watching uh, Mad Men. Oh yeah. Did you watch that? No, I never watched it. It's kind of fun. Um, I just got the Criterion. How do you say it? Criterion. Yeah. Criterion. <laughs> Criterion Channel subscriptions. Well, I'm doing a free trial. I think I might. I have that nice. Those. What is that? Because. Huh? Those like streaming, like Netflix? Has, uh, the best. Yeah. The selection good. of things that actually look worth watching. Maybe I'm just a ass hat, pretentious ass hat. Everything is worth watching. Maybe I'm just a pretentious ass hat. Ah, I'm cold. Um, do you have the other one on? Let's awesome. check. I put my finger on right. my armpit, slide it around. Yep, it's slimy. Smell my finger. All good. I wonder if anyone else does that. I can't be the only one. 
You uh, could also just put the nose to the armpit. That's what I do, I yeah. Sometimes that's not thorough enough. Um... Is that a Hershey's Kiss stack? Damn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta wash my clothes. And, and look up and Okay. Out. Kenny. Uh, I'm gonna... This is something I do before work pretty often. I, uh... Well, it's more like a... It's like a every other day thing. What, I wash my clothes in the tub. In the tub? Um, because there's a washer and wow, dryer here. But, I'm like, I'm like Einstein. The, um, 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 yeah, but and then you just the wash your clothes in the tub. Worked. The dryer, the washer's broken. Um, well, it's kind of like brother, and then y'all fell. Looking forward to, um, the is new MGT album. Yeah, what is it? What's going on? We're looking at your bedroom. Oh, yeah, I'm just Good showing. Stuff. I'm just bored. You're There's bored? There's, um... If you're bored on this show, the best thing to do is talk I'm to not bored, bored. I'm like, I'm like fake bored. Kenny has two love life. You're fake bored? If you're bored, then you're boring. That's what so I always say. Being bored is a privilege. Not actually, because I'm doing stuff. Look at this. What a wacky thing. Being bored is a privilege. <laughs> Being bored is a privilege. Um, we're calling a yellow phone. Oh, hello. What? Oh, Andrew. What? I forgot, I forgot who I was calling. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. We're talking to somebody from Florida and San Francisco. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you think about San Francisco? Did you take your shit on the street? Did you shit on the street? Uh, Have you shit on the street yet? Oh, um, or have you I, seen? Have you seen it? Well, everybody, everybody does it, but I haven't seen it yet. Now, that's like the rumor that the San Francisco is covered in human shit. Oh, dude, when it's I was not, up, it's um, not that. when I was up in Jacksonville, well, in, in like Miami, I was in up in Jacksonville in Florida. I saw poop everywhere, man. It was like shit everywhere, shit city. Yeah, oh, human gosh, city. Was, was it like human? It was like no, it was just some guy fucking pooping. Human, human shit, yeah. Yeah, I would say that parts of Sacramento are way worse than San Francisco. Because, like, San Francisco, like, most of it is, like, you just have to have so much money to live here that it's only where all the homeless people are concentrated. And even at that, then it's mostly just, like, where they're called the drug addicts are concentrated. And that's, like, um, that's a good amount of area, but, like, um, it's really bad there. It's terrible for people there, but, like, I mean, like most of the city is like yeah, what? it's too expensive for anything that's the difference like Sacramento people are like there's areas being um there's a big camp there's a big camp downtown I don't know where all their waste goes oh yeah yeah I've seen people over um there in Olympia but I feel like yeah in Sacramento like it's like across the entire river because a lot of homeless people are put here, so there's like a, actually a lot, but um, like the actual bad stuff, like, Sacramento just has more crazy shit, like over here, like it's almost like, like <laughs> crazy shit, huh? being in the city at night. Yeah, like people like, like you should like, like, I tell you about the person who drives backwards on the freeway all the time, really fast, and like, I'm gonna leave. Well, what are you doing, Andrew? What are you doing? I'm gonna take a shit. Goodbye. Okay, bye. In the toilet. That's good. In the toilet. It flushes down. Go away. Yeah. Where does poop go? Do you have the rule where you can only do it once? You can only flush your fits poop. There's a uh, facility down here where they they clear they clean it and then they put it back. Or I don't know what they do with the 
They clean it up. They turn it back into food. I mean, in the way they do, it does. It's a cycle of life, you know? Yeah, you turn it back into food and then you sell it at uh, the restaurant. Why has someone done that? That's genius. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. <laughs> put, it in a, put it in a reverser, a chemical reverser. This is yellow fellow. Hello, Hello y'all fellow. Hey, Willow. Hey, it's a program. Uh, we're on TV. How are you? I'm uh, doing all right. How are you today? Good. Are you and uh, Duncan? Yeah. We're talking to guys from Florida and Seattle from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Hello, Duncan. Duncan guy. Is there any, uh, what's I'm so special? Dunkin' Donuts. I have a little, uh, fucking donut shaped like heart. Oh, cause of Valentine's Day? I guess so. Is it, does it count as like That's a donut like, if it's not? Is that coming, wait, when is Valentine's Day? Does it count as a donut if it's not donut Fuck, shape? it's February 1st? Well, yeah. Oh god, everything's Some so people fun. are, uh, some people yeah. were upset because they thought they looked smaller. They're like, wait, huh? these are replacing the other donuts? They're smaller. But in reality, they're probably just as much donut. They just don't have a hole in them. But, you know. So what are you going to do? I don't. All my coins fell out of my wallet. Yeah, good. You should throw, throw them away. Um, hey. Hard shaped donuts, but you don't make the donuts. No. I was listening to that story you were telling on, I think, yesterday's podcast about the, uh... This is not a podcast. Huh? Not a podcast. <laughs> Sorry, I was just listening to a podcast, so that's in my head. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never really made that mistake unless I was messing with you. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, my apologies, Kenny. Thank yesterday's you. Episode Yesterday's episode, um, you were saying you were telling a story about somebody who buys a house of an ex-millionaire. Yeah. You know, you should keep that story going. You should write a book about that. Yeah, it's uh, not like it's a movie already that I was talking oh, about. Oh, it is a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a movie, but um, the it's called Panic Room. Oh. Oh, you should make the no you should write the novel for that movie. Yeah, but the the main part of that story, I don't know if you got there, was when you when the co the cops like you managed to call the cops, you know? Because uh -huh. you're you're all tied up, you managed to call the cops, and then but, but then the 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 um your kidnappers or whatever they know uh -huh. that you've called the cops, they find out somehow. So when the cops uh -huh. show up. They're in the back room with a gun to your, you know, your diabetic child's head. Uh -huh. And they're like, don't tell the cops. Don't tell the cops they're here. You better be, you better get rid of those cops because I'm going to kill your family. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't but, you hate when uh, the robbers have a gun to your diabetic child's head? Yeah. But then you got to, um, then, then when the cops come, you have to, you say, you have to say nice things to them. But then you have to try to communicate with only your eyes. Oh, oh, your eyeballs. And they're like, you're like, everything's fine. And you're like, oh, but you're like trying to tell them that it's not fine while saying it's fine at the same time. You guys, uh, I remember there's like a movie where it was like, it was like a guy developing like photos. And, um. One hour photo with Robin, Robin Williams? What? One hour photo with Robin Williams? I think so, yeah. It was like, it was like developing photos. And it was like, oh my God, I love this family. He gets like he falls in love with the family, and then he like makes the family do stuff as he takes photos of them. Yeah, that's what I thought was one more. But I thought um, I went to I went to Panda Express again, and the the workers at Panda Express they they were afraid of customers, and they were trying to do a good job like too hard, and it was scary because they were smiling but they had fear in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And it was like they were talking to the cops, you know. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe you have a uh, cop-like energy. Well, it was just, I, it was not me, it was like, 
everybody there. They was just like, they were just like worried. They're just like they were busy and they were like worried about, you know, customer service. But they were scared because they were slammed at the same time and they were just like, you fucking like, I really want something. And, they're, and they're, it was like kind of scary. I think when you're younger and you have a job like that and like shit starts hitting the fan and it gets really busy, I don't think you are able to see the context and it feels like the world's ending. But when you're older and you still have a customer service job, but a fast food job, because you haven't uh, progressed past that point, um, then you are able to realize that it doesn't matter and you can get another stupid shitty job if you lose this one. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I can get any other shitty job after I lose this one. It's just, uh, you know, no sweat. Um, I'm gonna clear up the message of the future. We got a, one more message. It's kind of yeah, lots of stuff going on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna clear this up. Here. The message. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Get over it. You're still eating it. Over it or eating it. Bye, future. Bye. Oh, I kind of ate a lot of food today, and then I am going to go see a movie, and I want to get popcorn, but I'm not even hungry. Uh, can I just wash I didn't my eat thing. Popcorn. I can't not eat the popcorn, though. I thought you didn't like it. You thought I didn't like it? Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Um, it's not that I don't like it, it's that it makes me sick, and then... I don't want to like it, but I eat it every time, and then I get sick. Oh yeah, like like it's, it's like you when you have too much of that like movie butter, it like makes your stomach churn. It's crazy. I know, but I always go and eat it every time anyway, and I think about it. My highest score I got in Snake one time, I got like two hundred. Uh, who cares? I almost... What? Um. What? Oh god. Here, turn that off. Turn that off. We're gonna do the message of the future. Don't look at that. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, here it goes. Kenny. Yes. Kenny. He's like, whenever the message of the future, here it goes. Hey! Future touched the past. What do you have to say? My boyfriend and sister called me and I guess I'm going to beat uh, uh, her ass. So tell me the future. The future. Uh, Hey, future, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Hey, my future. Try and try again. What happened? Your, your boyfriend, sister, did what now? She called me Med. Miss? Med. Mid? Mid, M I D. Like the kids? That's what the kids are saying, right? I don't understand what mid is. The kids, the kids are saying that these days. That's mid. Mid like 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 is like the worst thing. So it's better to be like it's real bad or, or good, but like mid is nothing. It's like blah it's blah blah. Just it's regular like, 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 the like that boring, bad like not like hot, not super ugly, like just boring, like mid. Like. Mid. Uh oh. What are you? And you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna beat her up and say I'm not mid. I'm not mid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Um. I'm probably gonna okay, say yeah. something that'll hurt her feelings forever because that's what my mom taught me to do. Emotional. That's they fine. Break my bones, but words will never hurt. Um, you know what? I don't trust organs anymore because people like you taught me that. They, I was like, okay, I can go over to the to the Pacific Northwest, and then I go to Oregon, and I go to Salem, and 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 some of these people are are, are just like honestly just. It's not like white trash, like you're just a crack. So not even technically white trash because you're like in Oregon, like that's not the mountains. There's you a know, lot of it's not the mountains. There's a lot of uh, like uh Yeah, like red rednecks in Washington and Oregon. Do weird shit. Weird people. It, it Every, seems... And everyone's poly. And if a poly poly person calling me red I'm done. I can't handle that. I can't deal with that. Only monogamous, only monogamous people available. can call you mid? Huh? Only monogamous people can call you mid? 
Oh, even August people can insult me in any way. Okay. This is probably isn't real. Monogamous people. Monogamous. Um. No, what about, what about, I'm monogamous. Monogamous? There's a, a mid and what else, it's like, um, what, mediocre? That's what mediocre is, it's mediocre. Basically, People, yeah, it basically just means I mediocre. Know, I don't know why, but, but like, I, I associate mediocre with, like, food. Like, I don't think I've called a person mediocre. I'll call, like, a food. Yeah, it's kind of more like, like, like saying somebody's, like, bland. Isn't it worse? Isn't mid? But it's an insult. Mid, mid is, like, it's mid worse. to, like, it's like so mediocre or middle that it's bad or something. I don't know what these kids, the kids are doing. Also, it makes you cool if you say it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, your audience is all going to be young now. Are you excited? If you, this is the time I'm on to show his dad. You're if you him. say mid, then like, um, then all the kids will re- will re- 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 all the kids will repost you on their internet phones and they'll oh go, my God. look at this awesome clip. And everyone says, oh. You, I think you're the, the, the yellow I think you're both teenagers. Are you a teenager? Probably. It seems like one. The other guy. The other guy's a teenager, yeah, too. I, I would say he's, he's 19. Maybe 20 at most. But maybe 18. Um, I'm going to call, I'm going to call this person, other person, we don't have enough time to listen to the message and call them, but we only have like four minutes left. Four minutes? Okay. Yesterday they told me they had social anxiety, but I didn't. Listen to their message, but, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to listen to it, maybe tomorrow. We're just going to call <laughs> it's them. It's a good way, this, this, this show probably is a good way to get rid of social anxiety. You used to not talk to anybody. Social anxiety? Yeah, what's that? Yeah. People aren't important enough to get anxious about. That's the truth I do the show in front of others, you know? Huh? I've done the show on a stage. On the stage. Yeah. I do the show on the stage. I'm a, the, the, oh, I know that. There's all the crowd, all my big crowd right here. At the tone, please record your message. Uh-oh. You have when you are finished right recording, now? you may hang up what? or press 1 for more options. Do you have social anxiety right now? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What are they going to think of me? What are they going to do? Oh, I didn't. I should have prepared for this. I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Why am I sitting there? Why am I saying these things on, on TV? What, am I, what was I thinking? What was I ever thinking? Everybody's looking at me. Oh, are I they going to think I'm weird? <laughs> They're going to think I'm weird. I've been doing this for 4,884 hours. Oh, my God. I think... Uh, oh, God. I must be really embarrassing myself at this point. Pop is Annie. Papa Zanny, no more social anxiety? Yeah, no more. Um, um, the show, are we getting social, social anxiety, anxiety right now? Be kind you, know, of mean you, know the, um, you know the tip where it's like, imagine them in their underwear. And then, like, you ever see, I remember I saw like a TV show where it was like, oh, if you imagine them in their underwear, then you, you stop being embarrassed. I don't get that. I don't think that works. I just get over it. That's what I think. But the show's about over. We have about two, a minute left. Yeah, let's just get over it. We have to go. There's an animal in the store. I have to go. You have to go? There's an animal in the store. That's what is it? Terrible. It looks like a small ferret. It's brown. I don't know. It looks like a weird teeth thing. We gotta go. What? Is it a rat? Oh, right, bye. What is it? What are, you, what are you doing? Stop, stop showing your computer. Um... What? Stop. Stop showing your computer. I'm what computer? Family, 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 family. This is just... There's no computer here. Shut uh, uh, Um, the show's about over. We're, we're, we're making it through. Thank you. Uh, thanks for talking today. We're gonna make it through. Um, tell me, uh, tell me when your show is. When you plan it, okay? Yes, I'll call you tomorrow. I will call into your show. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. You, you'll just call my phone number. You know, you know I'll call in from your. Sh- I'll call into your show from my show. Yeah. If uh, you call into my show, the number is nine one one. Ah, uh, haha! All right, the show's over. We made it. Here's the credits. Nine one one. Thanks That's for watching. Question. It's Thursday. 
We're on CCTV, channel 22, 1130, 2 a.m. Check it out, yeah! Satisfied with your message. What is the blog dot com? Press 2 to erase and re-record. Press 3 to continue recording. Press 4. YSWM dot com, yeah! Are you still there? If you are saying to me, it's a good song. Thank you. Yeah, to the the TV. The baby, Jordan Fabio, Circle Books, Four Star Video, Sasquatch.com, Rebecca Mount Board Northwest, Boston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, it's you. You're watching. Thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hey, yeah, dog. Bye.